which is the yeah. worrying thing. And Brezzy is doing amazing work around that. But yeah, when I was younger, so when you go into, I obviously had a very traumatic upbringing growing up in care and everything else, like what led to me going into care and all of those other things. And um, one thing okay, that... What led to you going into care just in... in um, it was... It, briefly. It, it was... It was a difficult home situation with my mum. She was suffering with mental health issues and I became the punching bag, essentially. Okay. Um, okay. And when, I suppose, you carry it, what kids in care do is, first of all, you carry a lot of feeling of no one can ever love me and there's something wrong with me and that's why this happened to me. Mm -hmm. So Tusto very much so encourage you to go to therapy when you're in care so that you find a way to understand what happened and understand that it wasn't your fault and that you can move on from it and that was your past and that doesn't have to be your future. So that was something that I engaged in from when I was 14. I got very lucky that the person I went to see um, the first time, she was a single, she'd been a teen mom and a single mom herself so we clicked straight away. Mm. She's very like, um, I don't even know how to describe her. She was just an incredible human being. She's not very like clinical or sit down, how are you feeling? Like she'd be like, right, come on, we'll go for a lunch and you know, like yeah. all that kind of stuff because she wouldn't, you know, she'd know I wouldn't feel comfortable and in a room. And it's all about finding and, you know, the right relationship. You get lucky and find someone in that 100%, relationship works. A hundred percent. And you know, she taught me so much and it's what I use now in terms of how I cope with things, you know? Um, so for example, Definitely the same thing, like after, you know, it's been an insane year, all of a sudden in my own life, nothing in comparison to Aslan, but I, I'm used to being the person who wants to wear black and hide in the corner and wants no attention drawn to myself. And when I came out with my story, I did that because I was so sad about what was going on with the homeless crisis that it was, it was nearly like it wasn't my choice, that I had to do this, I had to change the face of what homelessness looked like to other people. Okay. Um, and that was nerve wracking for me that all of a sudden this thing that I'd, that was like my personal secret was all of a sudden out there and I, people were all of a sudden seeing me as, I didn't want people to feel sorry for me. I didn't want people to see me as the homeless girl or the teen mom or, you know, all of those yeah. things. That's, that, that wasn't, that wasn't my identity. I, I'd moved on from that. So I still use the coping mechanisms and whenever I feel worried about things, um, I, so there's the CBT thing. So it's like you have a feeling and um, you have a thought and you have a behavior. So if you've behaved in a certain way, it's usually, it's linked to a feeling and that's linked to a thought. So yeah. I'm always, I'm very good at doing that. And whenever I'm feeling something and being like, oh, okay, so what was I, why was I feeling anxious or why was I feeling sad or why was I feeling yeah. overwhelmed or, um, and then I just link it back to a feeling. And sometimes it's, you know, um, it, for, for example, relationships, it's a big thing for me, you know, my, 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 you know, it was, it's, it was, it's a big thing I've carried into relationships. This feeling of like no one can ever love me and trying okay. to push people so, away. So you that's know? challenging. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I have Liam, so he's amazing. He loves me unconditionally, so I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, I don't think there's anyone feeling sorry for you, I'm absolutely <laughs> sure.